Hello everyone, welcome back to Shine's Kit. Today I am going to make khaman uh, in microwave and it will take hardly 5 minutes to get ready in microwave. Sometimes we are in hurry and we don't have time to prepare it in steamer. So this is a better option. So let us start with, I have taken 1 cup, heaped 1 cup with measuring cup. This is besan or chickpea flour. In it we are going to add... 2 teaspoon of suji or semolina, half a teaspoon of salt and very little bit of red chili powder, teaspoon of oil and this is powdered sugar, teaspoon of powdered sugar in it. This is yellow food color. I am not adding turmeric or haldi because when it when it is added with uh, baking soda, it gives a reddish color and it does not look good. This is one fourth teaspoon baking soda. And now mix all these things well. Two pinches of hing or asafoetida. This is citric acid. We get a packet of it and. I have powdered it, half a teaspoon total and this rest we will use in syrup. Now start adding water to it. Just do a little bit of preparation. I have taken microwave safe bowl and applied oil into it. and. In the end, we have to add a packet of Eno. You can take a plain one. I was having this one, so I'm adding this one. Quickly pour into the container we have to put into the microwave. Four to five minutes. We will keep for four minutes and see to it if our knife will come out clean then we will take out into 4 minutes otherwise we will give another 1 minute so let us till our dokla is getting ready we have to prepare the syrup for dokla add 2 teaspoon of oil into it heat up fry dana once your mustard seed starts getting crackle Add curry leaves to it, slit green chilies, just fry it a little bit. Once your chilies are fried a little bit, then slow down the flame, add water from side, about one cup of water, add little bit of salt, remaining color, this is optional remaining citric acid 2 teaspoon of powdered sugar boil it properly so friends I kept it exactly for 5 minutes and now I am trying it it's coming out exactly clean what I wanted and now just give it 1 or 2 minutes to cool down, we will shift it into a tray. It is piping hot. Just wait for 2-3 minutes. So friends, here is our dokla is ready. You can see how soft and spongy it has turned. You can see. And now it has cooled down. Here our syrup is ready. We will cut it. See the sponge? This is without syrup. And now we will going to add syrup to it.
pour on top as well as on sides so that it will keep it for some time in fridge to cool down it tastes better and here are coriander leaves So friends, if you have microwave and you have not tried this recipe in microwave, then don't hesitate. Just go and try it. I'm sure you're going to love it. And those who don't have microwave, you can use the same recipe in steamer, but it will take 15 to 20 minutes. But the results will be almost same. And uh, if you're in hurry, just go and try this recipe. Subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, then please uh, press the button of like and comment and share with your friends enjoy your cooking have a nice time